I was making racks, I was counting stacks Every day I would try to figure out how this shit would last I was always, always thinking about your whole damn past When then she think about that same nigga that would make it crash You were fucking goof, I said this whole spoof Never understand how them and them got in this whole loop That's if you said we forever, is that the real truth? Can't say that and going off that nigga in his damn shoes Beep boop bop Beep boop boop beep boop bop Beep beep bop Drop. Yeah, like my new song. Bop. I hope so too, cause I do too. And that song actually came like about two years ago. It was just me, Keith, and Stefan just in the car for like however long, a long ass time. We just came up with some song. That song never got released, but I figured it'd be a good song to start off the podcast again. But anyway, <clears throat> for anybody that's new or anybody that's returning. First, I want to say welcome or welcome back. <clears throat> um, and to those of us that are now listening, <laughs> welcome. Um, I know not really many of you have been wondering why I stopped podcasting or what changed my demeanor of things, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and why it took four years for me to come back with a podcast. <clears throat> Don't worry, in the next 20 minutes, I'm going to explain all of that. As of, let's see, the last time I recorded a podcast was about sometime, I think, prior to COVID or sometime after. And that was when the world kind of stopped. And that's when life changed for everybody, just about. Um, It changed for you, it changed for me. Um, it changed for quite a lot of us. <clears throat> um, um, in a, let's see, COVID came about March, April ish, and I was kind of stuck. You know, once again, I'm young and in college, so taking online college classes or whatever. However, what happened is like June of 2020, as COVID was not really lifting up, but as of like. You could go back inside buildings, that type stuff. Um, I got sick. I had got sick. Let's just say I got sick. Um, what? You, I kid you not. I woke up with it. I don't know what happened. And as you learn, as you get older, you know, kind of life happens. So you'll kind of see how all this kind of connects. So, <clears throat> but I got sick. Um, I couldn't content create for quite a quite a while trying to f- figure out what was wrong um i was having constant shortness of breath and mind you it wasn't covid either but i was having constant shortness of breath and i do mean constant it was like every day unless i was asleep um i had bad nerves low b12 and i lost my voice for about three or four months or whatever um that happened and it was Oh, and I also had death in the family. So some of you, if you know me personally, then you know kind of my whole family. And if you went to school with me or if you know me, period. 2020, Caroline, my dog, passed away. That was the dog everybody was like, not necessarily afraid of, but they, she was very protective. We had her since I was in fifth grade. So she was born. December 2008, came home February 2009. Um, She died July 22nd, 2020. So that was kind of a dark time. I was in a dark time, very much, um, very deep depression because death, you know, I understand why people love animals and some other living plant plants or even even some inanimate objects. I see how People love the way they do that kind of taught me that. But I was in a deep depression, um, mainly because of her death, not because I was sick or whatever. Um, little do some of you know, I was knocking at death's door. And nobody would have guessed that. Well, you would have if you were spiritual. However, that time um, changed and I kind of came out of that. Well, I did come out of that because I couldn't speak for three, four months. So I really couldn't do anything, hardly. I mean, I still did what I could, but I couldn't talk three, four months. That was dark. Um, following, I ended up um, learning a job in 
in a stepping stone of my career path. Um, so currently I am a life touch photographer. Um, been there three years coming up or whatever. <clears throat> so, you know, life happens for most of us happens or whatever. Um, the following year, 2022 is, and mind you, I'm explaining all this just so, just so everybody can catch up, you know, kind of see like where have I been? Why have you, you know, people see me around, but the more so like you haven't really <clears throat> seen me, see me, you know, I'm not where I was when I begun the podcast and the vlog show and all that. Um, as I said, life happens or whatever. 2022 came, um, went through some mess, <laughs> mess. 2022 taught me some really big lessons, really big lessons on friendships and <laughs> women in general and trust issues and happiness and ha- happiness and how people can be a little funny or whatever. I'm not going to point out uh, no names because since then, to an extent, some details have been ironed out or fixed. Some friendships and situ some friendships and situations have been fixed. Not all of them, but that's a whole another thing. So, yes, all that happened. A lot of chaos. A lot of chaos. A lot of broken up. A lot of eye opening. Like a lot of people are having their eye opening year, such as last year or this year. No, I had my twenty twenty two. Um, I'll go into more detail as the season goes on, because if you know me, of course, I got a story for everything. But also during all that chaos or prior to, well, kind of kind of in that chaos or whatever. Those of you that also know me closely or know me in general, well, closely or whatever, you know that I'm attached to my grandparents or grandmother and grandmother and grandparents. Old people. I love I love to hang around them. Um unfortunately in December of twenty twenty two, my last living grandparent grandmother passed away. Um she was sick. She had got sick uh November of twenty twenty one with something a little minor. However she was she was doing better or whatever. Uh, she got real sick, kind of quickly. I say, kind of quickly sick. Um, in October of twenty twenty two, and she died in December of twenty twenty two, about two days before New Year's. Um, because of that, that changed a lot. Um, even now, it's still changing a lot. I am not healed at all. <laughs> I don't believe I'll ever properly grieve at all. I don't. <laughs> Just for the sake of time has gone way too fast. Some of you are probably grieving now. Some of you are probably still grieving like me. Or some of you feel like you had to bury those feelings. Let me ex- explain this to those who need it. Those who care. Those who need it. Those who want to be heard or misunderstood. Or under- Stood. I'm sorry about that. Um, listen to me. Don't let nobody, and I do mean nobody, tell you how to grieve. Tell you how to feel. Tell you how you should feel. How you should get over stuff, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. People can tell you all they want, and I'm telling you this from experience because those of you that kind of knew me knew I'm very close to my grandmother. I'm soft when it comes to her. I am a little boy, mind you, you um, <clears throat> when it came to her. But don't let nobody ever try to tell you how to grieve. Don't let, even if it's not death, even if it's something that happened, whether it's a, it, whether it's a relationship, a broken up friendship, or you lost a job, or Whatever it is, don't let nobody ever tell you how to feel. I don't care if you are a man, if you're a woman, okay? Everybody has feelings. Everybody. I don't care how strong you are. I don't care how weak you are. Or I don't care whatever it is you identify. Unfortunately, that's what this world has come to. I don't care. Don't let anybody ever tell you how to feel, okay? You can be open to learn things. 
open to listen and all of that. But nobody can understand. Nobody can ever tell you how to feel or how to grieve. And unfortunately, some people have tried that. Um, like I said, prior to my to her death, I was kind of in. And like I said, that chaos, a lot of anger was going on, a very lot of anger because of dealing with a girl or whatever, ever. As of, as of currently, I'm convinced I was right through all of it. But so until I'm proven otherwise, then phew, I'm right. I'm always saying right. And like I said, as the season progresses, you'll see how time, how it, how it all connects or whatever. Am I going to expose anybody? No, absolutely. Absolutely not. Well, I could, but I'm not. Am I going to name names? No, because if you're close, you know who it is. You know what happened. Hey, listen, if the shoe fits, that's not that's not my job to wear it. Okay, that is your job. You can either wear it, get a different size or find a whole pair of new shoes. Okay, that's you. But like I said, it was anger going on there. And then, boom, her death came or whatever. So that led to a whole dark 2023. Now, mind you. I don't feel like I properly grieved ever. And I don't even know if there's such a thing. But because of her death and how close I was, I've had I've suffered through a lot. And I can tell you how I suffered. Honest. I can tell you how I got to this point. I can tell you everything because there are because because listen, you can be the kindest person ever. You can be the meanest person ever. Right is right. And wrong is wrong. It just is. And am I? Was I right about everything? Everything I kind of assumed or whatever. Yes, most definitely. I know that I was right, whether people want to admit it or not. Now, was I right about how I handled some, the situation or situations? Yes and no. Yes and no, because I could have been a little more cleaner. I could have been a little. I could have tried to. Well, let's not say I didn't try because I did try, and then boom. You know, you live and you learn or whatever. And yeah, but as I said, as the season goes on, we'll continue all this. But um, yeah, since her death, um, I've suffered through a lot. Um, health issues, panic attacks, um, anxiety, mental distresses, nightmares, night terrors. I go through all of this, um, even triggers. Trigger your mental health and anxiety. I want y'all to know as of last year, your mental health and anxiety is very much important. Okay. Now, I don't tell everybody what goes on or whatever. If people ask, you know, I'll explain it. I don't mind or whatever. I don't have anything to hide anymore. <clears throat> I've reached a point in life where I'm just carefree now. Now, that carefree Wadi that I was <laughs> 2019, before I started. Not yet. No, I'm not going to say before I started dealing with it. I'm going to start saying before I started putting more time in a girl than I should have. Let's just say with that or whatever. Whether it was intended or not, not or whether it was not intended <clears throat> or not. However, it happened. That was before carefree. But you live and you learn. Or everybody, they have their own. They have their. They have their own personality. They have their own. <clears throat> they have their own way of life. They have their own way of seeing the world. And it's not my job to make everybody see how the world is. I try to guide people in the right direction. I wouldn't lead anybody wrong. I, that's my brain works better than that. This generation doesn't know how to really lead <clears throat> or. Do things without without a but do kind things without something something back wanting something back using people and misjudgmental and all these all these evil and negative things that that this generation just seems to be okay with or whatever which is okay with y'all y'all which is that's fine as I said I don't I don't think I've ever fit, fit in with this generation as an artist and as me. Um, I'm very much misunderstood and I don't care. Um, a long time ago, I decided that was, that was actually, that makes me feel great. Like anybody can say anything, but you really can't really, as of definitely now after my, after my, um, grandmother has passed, you can't really say anything else to me. That's going to make me feel hurt as of hurt. I don't get hurt by 
anything now. If anything, I got to a point, especially like I said, after dealing with as I said, as the time, as the season goes on, you'll see why. But after dealing with this girl and all this mess, I don't do anything but laugh now, <laughs> cause, cause why? What's the point of getting upset? I have been hurt, and my grandmother's death has hurt me. It has. Little does anybody know that. No, because I've had people, time time moved way too fast with grief or whatever. If you guys are, in fact, I'm going to tell you how fast time moved. If you're familiar with The Simpsons, um, you'll be, you're kind of aware they've been on close to 40 years. If not, they're coming up to it. I've watched 28 seasons of The Simpsons. As of now, I have seen all 35 seasons. I believe they're on season 36 or upcoming now. However, that's how fast grief has moved. It went from, her, well, let me see, she died in December of 2022. Um, her funeral, January 2022, three, and then boom, now it's 2024. You see how fast that move. Not to say I didn't try. Not to say I didn't try to. Not the first couple months. I didn't care. Care. I didn't care what nobody thought. I didn't care what anybody thinks. Uh, things have changed. For example, I don't talk when I'm by myself. With the exception of this. Because I feel like now I'm talking to you guys. So you guys are listening. Um, some things don't really make me happy. Some things have come back that have tried to make me happy, and it's kind of like, heh, nice try. Not to say that I can't fake happy, because I do. I fake it all the time in front of people, but I also learned. I've lived and I've learned. I'm only 26, so I still have a lot more living and learning to do. There are some things I'm convinced that I'm right of, and until I get proven wrong, I'm going to know I'm right and all this, this, so... Yeah, time has moved way too fast. So I don't think I'll ever properly agree. However, <clears throat> a couple of things I've learned. One, if you guys kind of were in the process of her death, you would see I went, I've gone through a lot. I still have PTSD from her death. Probably even Caroline, too. Ooh, so, yeah, there is something. Your mental health is very much important. I don't care what nobody tells you. And I kid you not. I didn't have a lot of people really texting me, checking up on me. In fact, I stopped making efforts to t- text and check on people. Unless it's that important or you're really on my mind. And it's not a lot of you. But I thank God for my God's sisters because they are the ones who checked on me constantly. Especially Janiyah. Shout out to her. We text every day. Janiyah is probably, I'm going to kid you not. Probably the one person that understands my whole way of living, my whole way of life. Janaya is that person. I'm grateful to God for Janaya. She looked just like me. <laughs> me, but doggone it, I'm grateful to God. That is my twin. That is my baby. And I love her very much because she knows everything. Janiyah is two people I feel like that are obligated to know my life. Janiyah and LaPasha. They are the only two people. Janiyah knows every aspect of my life. I don't hide anything from her. It don't matter what it is. I have nothing to hide from anybody. If you ask me, I'll tell you. Shoot, I'll tell you the truth. I'm a whole adult. I don't have a reason to lie. This is a whole generation of liars, but I don't have a reason to lie whatsoever. So... With that being said, I hope you guys are, I'm kind of looking forward into what this season has. Um, There are some things I'm working on, such as I'll be hosting two podcasts. So the Wadi Talk, and we have another one called Hear Me Out. That's with a little more people and possibly some video or whatever. I'm trying to get back into, well, I'm not trying. I'm going to get back into the content creating because now I have way too much to say. I have been quiet too long i have way too much to say way too much and life lessons you guys are going to probably need think about it you've probably been thinking this but this but but are you gonna say it <laughs> probably not because you guys have jobs and all that and, and i do too but here's the thing i'm carefree i really am like i don't have to prove anything to anybody 
you don't have to prove anything to anybody. It's okay to live a life that others do not understand. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. And I'm the li- I'm living proof. I don't care. I'm very open-minded. The city I stay in, they are very, and I mean, and I don't care who gets offended either, but they are very small-minded. There are very few people that I know that have open minds, that are adventurous, that like doing other things besides what, besides whatever this sorry generation does, party and clubbing and drinking and line dancing and shit like that. Like, like, don't get me wrong, that stuff is cool, but at the same time, we're, we're young, we're in our tw- 20s pushing 30, some of us are pushing 30, <laughs> but we are, all right, but there's a lot more to this world. And I'm going to tell you something, I don't belong in a small city. Now that my grandparents are dead, and unfortunately, y'all, I'm a deadbeat f- family member, so I kind of have no point really being in this small town. However, when my grandmother was sick, I just moved into my own place, so, and also I have a, a studio, so stay tuned for that. But um, at the same time, it's like, what's the point? Like... There's no point in being here. However, I did move in. I don't want to move all this big shit now and then have to bring it down stairs, you know, et cetera. So, but as I said, you'll see as time, I moved on. But I thought I would keep you guys in contact, in check, I mean, in in the loop, <laughs> et cetera. Um, I realized as of a couple of days ago, I was like, people were actually listening to the, to the Wadi talk. And I hate that it got canceled but like I said not really canceled but life happened or whatever and it was kind of put put on the back burner but you know what I realized something somewhere I do have an audience out there it's not my hometown so if you go on my Instagram TikTok Snapchat everything is at Waddy Richardson W-A-D-D-Y-R-I-C-H-A-R-D-S-O-N um Some of the views, good. Some of the likes, good. But here's what I realized. My small town is not my audience. They are not. Not one person. Well, I do have one person. But she doesn't live here. She lives in Charlotte. She goes to school in Charlotte. She took up after me. So, yeah. But anywho, nobody in this little-minded ass city (laughs) is my audience at all. Because they don't have the same interests. They don't see the world how I do. And that's okay. I'm completely okay with it. I'm on a path. I'm on a career path. I'm on this journey in life where I where listen, I have much more to see, much more to be open to, much more open minded. Like there's not a lot of people out here like that. There's not a lot of people in our in our generation that has college degrees. And that's okay. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but I'm saying like some people are comfortable where they are L- working these low jobs or, or not really low jobs, but like simple jobs and kind of piggybacking off somebody else. Everybody wants what they have. I Listen, there's nobody out here out there that has what I want. I'm not jealous of anybody. I don't want anything anybody has because if I want it, I just have to go buy it or I can get it or get, you know. Etc. Etc. So, <clears throat> but as I said, you guys, I'm glad you all came back. For those of us that are listening, and you newcomers, I'm glad that you came. Stay tuned because I have a lot to say. Um, a couple more episodes to finish the season out, and we'll see what season three has in store too. So, yes, you guys go follow me on TikTok. I'm very much active on TikTok. In fact, some things I need to unrepost. Very toxic stuff. Um, yes, so it's TikTok at Wadi Richardson, um, Instagram at Wadi Richardson, and that's a wrap at that's a wrap underscore studios. That is my new name as far as photography and production goes. That is a that is a um, collaboration with me. And my friend Keese and my baby Zenze. So that's something that's in the works. But at the same time, you can follow that too. Snapchat, if you guys want to add me, um, I kind of post on the public profile now just to be 
hey, just to say I did it. But um, that is also at Wadi Richardson. And then YouTube, change the name. That's a rap studios. You'll see my pr- productions up there because I ch- changed it to make it a broadcasting type of page. Um, and like I said, you can find this p- podcast on Apple Music, Google, Spotify, Amazon Music, if I'm aware, and iHeart Radio. I think both of those are new, as I've just discovered. <clears throat> and Anchor, it's not called Anchor anymore. It's called Spotify for Podcasters. However, you can find me pretty much anywhere. Also on YouTube, this podcast will be uploaded. Um, stay tuned because I'm working on making it a video podcast also to watch. <clears throat> so, and like I said, my, my podcast genuinely isn't that long. Long, so I know that you all are active. I know how to keep an audience. That's for sure. So, stay tuned because I have a bunch of hilarious stuff, life lessons, new content, and all of that coming out. So I thank you for listening. I thank you for, shout out to those who have actually been praying. I has, I've actually stopped as of two years ago. As I said, as the season goes on, I'll explain it. But to make it short, thank you for those who support me. I don't care if it's one or two of you, you, three of you, that support me. I appreciate those who do. Those who understand, those who know me as a person, know my heart, and all of that. And know that I don't get upset over just anything. Hey, although I used to, but as I said, life's changing. Life can humble you too. So I appreciate that. You guys um, stay tuned until the next one. Most likely it'll be next Wednesday again. And like I said, YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcast, iHeart, and um, and all of that. So appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys on the next. Every one. day I would try to figure out this shit would last. I was always always think about your whole damn past. When then she think about that same nigga that would make it crash. You were fucking goof. I said this whole spoof. Never understand how them and them got in this whole loop. That's if you said we forever. Is that the real truth? Can't say that and going off that nigga in his damn shoes. Beep boop bop. Beep boop. Beep boop bop. Beep beep bop. Wop drop. Beep boop bop. Beep dee dee dop. <laughs>